Hey guys, I am Nishant and welcome to Cybernetico. So today, let's learn how to create this simple shopping cart in React where we can add items using our voice or manually also. So we can add an item like phone or laptop, anything. Plus we can do this as well. Add an air conditioner. Air conditioner added. See, here we can do that. And let's learn how to build this project now. So we have hooked up our project to the LNA already. And if you want to learn how to do that, just visit my previous videos. And we are also getting the product items from this array of items mock in this mock data array. See, so this is being imported here. Sorry, here. And we are setting it in the state of items mock, which is an array. Then we are mapping the products as per the items. So we have four items here. So we are seeing four items here. So that was very simple. Now let me create a function to add items in the cart. So we can say, sorry, uh, const add items. Let me pass the function to this component here. Like this. In this product listing component, we will receive it as props. Then on this button, we will add it as on click event. Then we will pass this product to the function as parents. So we can say product. Come here in this component and just say product in this function. Now we can console this product simply like this to see if it's getting added or not. So open the console, add the first product. See all the data that we need is coming here. Fine. So let me create one more state called const, let's say cart items, get cart items, fine. Then we have to set the items in this array. So we will use the previous cart items that we already have in the guide items and the product like this. Now this card items will contain all the products that we have added. So we can add it here. We need a component for the cart to create it. So let's say cart items dot js. Make it functional. Then we have to import it in the app dot js component. So say import cart items from this then we need this div once more and instead of this product listing in the second div we will have cart items don't need this function then mm, we will have cart items dot map let's say cart item then we will pass it here fine save it now let's come to this cart items and just add it here as props. Then in this div we can say p or just copy the same instead of accept the button and add it here. But we will not have product, we will have cart items. Save. Now let's try to do that. But before this we will create a check here. So if cart item dot length is more than zero, only then we will show this component. Add it. See it's here. Add it again. Keep adding and it's getting added here. So to distinguish between them, let me add one header. So we already have all products here. So here should we add cart items. Save and it's here. Let me also wrap it in a check that will ensure that that will ensure that we will only see this cut items as one when we have something in the array. So save it. And it's here, I guess. Yes. So add it here. Add it here. It's getting added. If we refresh or if we have zero items, we will show nothing. So see, we are getting the zero here. So to fix that, we will not use it like this. So we can simply say 
cart items dot length okay wait wait what i was doing cart item dot length more than zero then we will create check here that will print this first or else it will print nothing fine cd0 has been removed automatically now let's add the voice features so here in the voice cart i have a snippet that says add an item and it will send you the item back in the console so let's try that so we can first say console dot log command data dot data because we need the data so now open the console let's add it here add a phone phone adding but we are cannot see in the console okay let me refresh the page now let's try add a phone phone adding see now we are getting this here phone as our input so let me store this input in a state so say const let's say input and set input equals to use state empty string then we will simply set it here like this save it now let me create one more use effect so that will run when the state of uh, when the state of input changes so in this dependency array we will have to pass the this input state in here we will do a check so first we will get the products from here so we can say console dot lock let's check in the console so let's say products if the products we will filter them filter let's say a product from this then we will have to return something so we can say return but not yet first i will check so if product dot name dot to lower case we have to convert the product name to lower case and if it is equal to the input that we spoke then we will return something which will be the whole item object so we can say triple dot item so we not item product yes this product save now let's try this we will speak add a phone and it will be it will revert it will reflect back the product of phone here let's try add a phone phone added okay we have to refresh add a phone phone added see we are getting this object of phone here successfully now we have to pass this object to this add items function so let's pass it here and we have to make sure that this is not an okay wait let me add three dots here because this is a product so we can say add a laptop laptop added see it's getting added successfully here and one more thing we have to do is we have to check but we are already checking okay if we refresh the page see nothing is here now let's try from the beginning add a phone phone added see phone has been added let me try something else like air conditioner add air conditioner air conditioner added see it's getting added successfully let's try item 4 add item 4 item phone added okay not add item 4 item for added mm, that's the thing 
it cannot it's not getting our data properly sometimes add a laptop laptop added see they're getting added successfully and that's how we do it that's how we create a react app with all this data i mean with with a voice functionality to add data all products to speak them and all so you know how to do that now so now i'm logging out of this video and i hope you learned something okay then bye bye but wait 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 i have changed my mind so now let's add some other functionalities but we need a fix here so see if i speak something like add a phone phone adding it's added but we cannot use the plus button here it's not working so what we have to do is we have to just come down and here or here see here we are passing a array but here we are passing an object so we have to make sure that we pass an array here where is it mm, where is it here so make sure to add a zero because let me just show you so you can console dot log this Add a laptop. Laptop and see we are setting an array here, so we have to make sure to include the zeroth index, which is the object inside it, the array. Then it will work. So that's done. You refresh the page once. Now let's try. Click add, but still it will not work because we have to remove the three dots because this is a product. I mean it's an object, not an array. So that's done. Now we can add it. Fine. So if we refresh, this should be fine. Let's try to speak. Add a phone. Phone add. But 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 something is wrong. Okay, we need to make this or add this function here, not console log, so that it passes. It passes over here. This object. Save. Refresh once. And again, we have an error that says cannot read property of undefined. Where is it? This reading name. So what we have to do is this cart item. We shouldn't make sure that it's empty. So we will check here, or we guess we need one. Yes, we need one. This one empty fragment. Not this. Then inside we will just say cart item. Wait a second. Just move them inside first. Hmm, we don't need them right now. Then 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 it again again again. What's the error? Closing tags. Okay, we need one. Okay, we need this. What's happening? We need this div here after the cart item. Fine. Then it will not work. So to make it work, what's now? What's the error now? Okay, cannot read this. So we can do this. So we only show the cart items. Uh, cart item items when we have. The actual item inside the cart, any item. Now let's try to add them. We can add them. We can also speak them now. Add a air conditioner. See how it gets added here perfectly. 